This is an American girl video talking about Girl of the Year 2025. This video is not intended for children under the age of 13 years old, and if the comments are set up, it's because YouTube did it, not me. This video is intended for teen collectors and adult fans and children of supervision from their parents. So, the Girl of the Year 2025 has been revealed through a book listing. This is the book Summer Gets to Work, so it confirms a bunch of different things about our summer girl. But number one, she's going to be a white girl who likes dogs with light, <laughs> with light eyes. It's okay that she's white. I don't really know, but we have a lot of blonde green-eyed dolls, and she'd be the next one. If she's a Josefina or a classic mold, she will have no individuality in this line. Like, she will be so basic. But let's hope... Fingers crossed we got a different mold on her, like a Joss or a... It's not that different, but... Or even like a Jess, even. Kind of like our girl. We also have some other excerpts from the book. So we see her best friend. Her friend Daisy is an African-American character, which I appreciate. It seems to me like we're going a bit with a Grace's style plotline, because Grace has one where her friends are like, you're a control freak, and they disagree on it. And apparently she disagrees, her and her friend, about how to raise money for the animal shelter, which they probably volunteer at, given their age. So we know a few things. One, she volunteers. Two, in working with dogs a lot, and a few cats at the very least. I'd like to think she fosters one based off one of the pages I saw, but that's not proof. I don't know. This book's not going to be out till next year, according to people. The next thing is, I'm. A lot of people are saying she looks a lot like Isabella, which is true, because she does look a lot. Isabella is a blue eyed, straight blonde haired doll with a pink hair clip. She looks a lot like this, basically. And some are like, what if that's her kid? Well, Isabella's like eight in 2014. So it's been 10 years. It's probably not her kid. Because <laughs> this girl's probably born the year her mom was eight years old. If that was the case, unless... So I don't think that's going to be that. It's an interesting theory. Uh, I'll give it some credence, but I'm not going to go for that. That being said, it is a pretty good comparison, nonetheless, of these things. We don't really see the meat outfit here. I think, if I had to guess, there's one outfit she's wearing in particular that's going to be part of the collection because of the colors for sure. Obviously, like, just look at it. Right here. That one I think is closer to being the collection. I the one on her covers isn't her meat outfit, I doubt at least I don't think it is. But that's probably gonna be a part of the collection. That one with the jeans, it's more basic, I don't know about because it's almost too basic for a girly outfit. I don't know if we'll make the cut. Her friend I wish that she was an African American doll, because it's been a while really. It'll be about eight years and next year since we had one, and I find that unfortunate that they wouldn't just go for it. It's all right, though. I guess they can. It's gonna probably sell pretty well, Miss Summer McKinley. I hope she's actually Iris, though. Like, I hope they <laughs> include that somehow. Uh, I don't know if they will, but I do hope she's Iris. What are your thoughts on this new girl of the year? Are you happy? Or are you not? I'm mixed. I'm surprised we have a look this early. Which I say this early, we're not that far off from release. I think we're gonna be getting her in September, and it's June. So I guess it's not that early, but it feels way too early, nonetheless. Tell me. Would you buy this doll? I'm not- I'm probably a no, unless he comes with the glasses. That's really cool. I wish he had the glasses. I hope he has them, actually. Let's see. It's been a long, long time since we had a glasses girly like Molly. So, until next time, thank you. I'm so happy I reached 500 subscribers, and there will be a Tenny Talks, where we go into bit where the character of Tenny and then her co-host, which is another member of the crew, is going to talk about it. So I hope you have fun when that comes out. Bye!